This is the eye in the sky that you don't see coming. A state patrol aircraft preparing to head out of Fulton County Airport on a summer mission. We're going to concentrate on the areas that are listed off of uh, Route 20 and 20A. And I um, believe the primary focus of it is going to be for the, uh, the intersection. I've got a front row seat with Ohio State Highway Patrol Officer John Nagy. We'll go take a look at 108 at 20 and 109 at 20 and the concentration there will be um, for the failure to yield to the stop sign. From speeding to traffic light violations to fatal crashes, Nagy says his hands are full. We're hovering over US 20 and US 20A in Fulton County. 1,800 feet in the air. Usually we're on the interstate, that's where the highest volume of, of traffic is. But now they're patrolling on a whole other level. Their goal is to decrease the number of high crashes and fatalities they've seen in this area within the last year. And they're doing it from an altitude no vehicle radar detector can react to. In 2014, injury crashes and fatal crashes accounted for 72% of the crashes in Fulton County. For decades, troopers have been successful in issuing tickets from aircrafts. The process involves a GPS system installed in the plane, a radar system equipped to calculate speed from a high elevation, and the proper communication between a pilot and ground force. No matter whether it's the Toledo Post or Defiance Post or, or the Sheriff's Department, as long as if there's a trend in crashes, then that's where, um, where our services are used. Expecting to decrease the crashes, that's, that's our number one goal. For those with any doubt, Nagy wants to remind you he'll see you well before you see those flashing lights. Bondalyn Diaz, NBC 24 News.